Hugs and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joy and I got a treat for you guys. Biden just did his first interview since the debate and it is mwah, chef's kiss a disaster. He declared, I am the first female black child vice president. No exaggeration. This is what he said and we are going to jump into this. So let me give you a little bit of context for this. You guys know he's been trying to clean up this disaster of a debate, so he has been on the rounds a little bit. And he did an interview, and I wanna make sure I get this right, with Andrea Lawful Sanders of Word Radio. Now, Andrea is black, and honestly, she didn't press him on stuff, but I think she did a good job. I liked her voice. I actually really liked her when it came to this interview but it was a disaster, a mumbling disaster. Now you guys know I try to be fair, I try to be balanced, I try to be unbiased. So this is like a 14 minute interview. I'm gonna take you five minutes in, but I want you to hear some of what he says because there are some lies, there's a lot of mumbles, there's a lot of stuff, but I also want you to hear the context. A lot of what you're gonna hear are just little viral clips, but let's try to be fair and look at it in all its context since they've just completely taken Trump out of context so many times Let's give Biden that same fairness. So I want you to take a look at this. And guys, if you hear things that I'm not picking up on, tell me in the comments, point it out. And if you like this kind of content, make sure and subscribe, like the video, everything helps. Here we go. Delaware State University. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? I was able to invest $16 billion, $16 billion in HBCUs to come into their own. So. <laughs> You know, there's a lot we've done and there's a lot we have to continue to do, but it's going to make Pennsylvania better, stronger and across the board. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for all of that. You've said things that some of us were not aware of uh, in the in the general public. Question number three for me, for you. Uh, every election, they say, this is the most important election of our lifetime. What makes this one so important, sir? Well, first of all, the guy I'm running against is a convicted felon who has uh, said he wants to be a dictator on day one, not a joke. He doesn't dictate at all. It just sounds kind of mumbly. Like some of this, I'm really, tell me if you guys are too, I'm really having a hard time deciphering. Also, Trump never said he's going to be a dictator. Like he just says these random things that have been provably false. What is he talking about? Nobody, nobody, he never said it. Nobody around him was like, he's going to be a dick. This is just something they've made up out of thin air. He means it. And he's appointed a Supreme Court that is outrageous in terms of the decisions it's made. Well, not just on choice, but on, on freedom across the board. They just said that he has immunity and I have immunity, which I reject. Immunity to do things, if I, even if I did things that wouldn't ordinarily be allowed. If I did it in the name of my job, mm -hmm. I could be a new prosecution. Well, that's just outrageous. Imagine this is the guy who says he wants to be a dictator on day one. Come on, dictator. Come on. First of all, that was, every president has had immunity when it comes to their job. Like if you have to make a tough decision about going up and having to, unfortunately, bomb a place. That's the type of stuff that they're saying, as long as it's justifiable. He's like, I reject that. Okay, so then you're a war criminal. If you reject the immunity even you're given, all the wars that you've gotten us in, Joe Biden, makes you a war criminal and you should be tried. It's like he doesn't understand what he's saying. I, I, I don't know if he actually believes this or these are the talking points he's just being fed. I don't know. On day one, he means it, though. You know he means it. Look what he did. Anyway, I won't go into too much detail, but it, this is the most important election because... Did you hear him stop himself? Oh, I won't go into too much detail. And you'll hear it. There are a couple times in here where he'll start to catch himself getting off track, and he'll try to rein in. And there's one he does this where she encourages it. It gets beautiful. Let's keep listening. Because the next president of the United States, by the way, is yes. going to be able to appoint at least two more justices in the four-year period, maybe more. Imagine what that does to the Supreme Court. Imagine yes. what it does. Trump appointed justice to the Supreme Court, eliminated affirmative action, gutted voting rights, killed Roe v. Wade, 
expand the presidential immunity. And the next president is going to have a chance, I said, to put one or two more justices on the court. I appointed Katanji Brown Jackson, a black woman in the court. She's bright as hell. She's one of the most best appointments ever. And look who Trump appoints. He appointed people who just are denied. I mean, look, in states now are in a position where he starts getting lost. Well, look at him. I mean, he appointed and what, well, you know, and what, well, well, and states. He just can't seem to keep on track. I, guys, I'm not even trying to make fun of I just feel bad for him at this point. And I'm just, I feel like I'm screaming the void somebody get this man medical help. Why is he being paraded around like a monkey when he obviously needs medical help? And that's from somebody who's disabled. Who needs medical help at times? If a young girl, 13 years old, is raped, she mm -hmm. has to carry that baby to term. I mean, it's amazing in some states. Oh. And leaving to the states has been horrible what they've done. Mm -hmm. and in the same way with the whole range of other things. This is where I will actually agree with him because a lot of people question me about this or they bring certain things up. I do not like the right's stance about choice, but I also don't like the left's stance. Personally, I believe we should have better medical health care better medications, better medical technology, so a woman never has to make those types of choices. And I feel like neither side wants to hear that reality and neither side wants to push for better health, better health care so that doesn't happen. So in that regard, like I'm neither one or the other. Now I am of the mindset until we have something, we need something in place. So if the right is going to scream, we should take this away, then before you do put something better in place. And that's kind of been my biggest thing at this point when it comes to that. So I do want to say that is something when it comes to the left that within limitation, I agree with that I don't think that, and, and I've heard the arguments, guys. I understand Trump's argument about giving it back to the states. I get it, but I also agree with Joe Biden when he's like, okay, do we do the same thing with civil rights? I actually agree. I agree with both of them and I just have my own perspective on how I look at it. I just want medical, better medical health care and medical tech for everybody. I'm talking med bed technology. We'll get into that later. Look. Like I said, I've appointed more black women to the, to the federal to the appellate courts than every other president in history combined, combined. And I made a promise. I made a promise when I ran, and I meant and I kept it. And that is, Andrea, I yes. have an administration that look like America. Yes. We have more African Americans in men positions of power in my administration from the vice president mm -hmm. all the way through the cabinet than any mm -hmm. president had in all of American history. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. got to serve first black president. I appointed a black vice president. Mm -hmm. It's just important that people have a look. Look, what, what's the thing that you keep a look to? Mm -hmm. I remember, uh, 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 anyway, I shouldn't get too personal, but the fact yeah, But you know that, what, you know what, President Biden, you can say whatever you want to say. This is your time. I appreciate that she wants him to feel comfortable and free to speak. I actually appreciate when she does that. But this opens the floodgates for some really awesome things that are about to come. And here's the other thing, because a lot of people scream about DEI. I don't like DEI, just as I do not like the organization Black Lives Matter. I don't like the organization. Of course, the slogan, of course they do and they should. And we have issues when it comes to minority communities we need to fix. We need to help. I am fully aware of that and I am fully on board with that, 100,000%. However, you need to have qualified people. Now, what that means is when I say I don't like DEI, I don't like those organizations, I don't like those departments. However, here's how we fix all that. You ready? It's brilliant. End poverty. You end poverty, everybody gets what they need to be able to go out in the world and be able to do whatever they want to do. We give more money better education when it comes to certain minority areas we get everybody out of poverty guess what it's no longer an issue no side ever wants to talk about that because both sides want us in some sort of slavery and fighting with one another drives me nuts well look you know imagine what it says to a young girl who is in school having trouble but wonder what she can do and look up and see a supreme court justice who's a black woman a black vice president of the United States or a secretary mm -hmm. in a cap or a, a famous, famous political figure. They say, I can do that. I can mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Mm 
-hmm. I remember as a Catholic kid growing up in an area where we didn't like Catholics didn't get along. I'm the first president to elect a statewide in the state of Delaware when I was a kid. Well, you know, I was I looked at John Kennedy and said, "Well, he, God." Did you hear it? I was the first, and I can't even quote it, but I was the first, you know, person to be elected in my state as a kid. He's, with the mental deterioration of his cognitive abilities, he can't keep on trains of thoughts and starts overlapping. And of course, I think what he is saying was, when I was a kid, and he doesn't even finish it. He's Catholic, and I guess the Catholics maybe didn't get along with certain types of people. So that happened when he was a kid, and then he's the first person to be elected, blah, blah, blah. But he mushes it all together in a way where it doesn't make sense, and it's so easy to do sound bites. But I don't think we should have to decipher him like this if he's in the position of being president. But yes, he's the first child to be elected, guys. He got elected. Why can't I get elected? Mm -hmm. I guess it's possible. People need things to look up to. And, you know, I think it's really important that that when you say this most important election, mm -hmm. it's about defending democracy and not embracing political violence. He won't even agree in the debate. He won't even agree. And not embracing political not niceness, right? Where you're physically not nice. I do think it's interesting that the left was able to create jazz and try to overthrow Seattle completely for a while. Like, I think it's interesting how many things they've been able to do under the name of protest, and yet everybody looks to January 6th as that was the moment, and even Trump didn't push that. This isn't me being pro-Trump. This is me looking at the information and weighing it critically. And I like when people say, yes, but those are minorities, and they're not being listened to, and they're, they need help. I get it. I totally get that. And I'm willing to help everyone in my country. So how about this? How about we get them out of poverty? We get everybody out of poverty. And guys, I know, I, I can hear it. It's like, well, we can't do that with everybody. Yeah, we can. Because here's the technology that's right on the cusp of coming back to us. What if we have machines that manifest everything that you want and need, including food? Oh, you can't have that, really? Then what's 3D printing? 3D printing is the baby step of that. I'm talking about medbed technology. I'm talking about these beautiful technologies. We can call them alien technologies, but really there are God-given right technologies we had you know, thousands of years ago that have been taken from us because these people, left and right, won us in slavery. And I get mad because I am nobody's slave and you are nobody's slave. And yet they keep doing this minority divide to do this faux fighting against one another. And I'm not doing it. Everybody, I don't care what race you are. You're my brothers and sisters. I care about you. I want you all out of poverty and some are in worse shape than others. Let's help and let's fix it. One interesting thing I think is it's totally okay to be prejudiced to Asians. And it seems like nobody cares about the natives. And that also makes me upset. Say that if he loses the election again, that he won't encourage the political violence. What he said, he said, if he loses, it'll be a bloodbath. President of the United States. Nobody said anything like that ever before. Serious. Not what he said. Not what he said. That's not the what. Not what he said, and not in any way, shape, or form how it was intended to come across. Yes. Love that. This yeah. is the guy who, who had, you know, uh, he wants to make sure that wealthy and large corporations, he's going to double down on the tax cuts for them. And as I said, okay. he wants to cut Social Security, and Medicare. Mm -hmm. He's going to. I mean, and and he even. Well, from the time you've had a job, everybody's had that Social Security check, that money taken out of their paycheck. If we continue to have more leftist policies, we're not going to have Social Security. My generation probably won't even have it. And our economy, at least until the virus happened, was so good under Trump. And even with Trump, and I know this because I covered stimulus. I had a stimulus channel at that time. I read through the bills. The left wanted to do all types of crazy spending to go to all these other countries. That is part of why inflation is so high. Our money went so many other places that don't help us whatsoever. And when it comes to the medical stuff, the left has shown us they are not going to get us out of medical poverty. The fact that in our country you can go bankruptcy from health issues, which you guys have actually watched over the years, happened to me with me trying to figure things out. And yet they also poison our food and our water. And I'll tell you what, Trump is the only, I would say at this point, almost with certainty, Trump right now is our best bet to bring back 
Medbed Technologies. Then we don't need insurance, but we can't talk about that because the insurance companies are pure evil. They point out that that means that that's going to be a $2,500 tax increase, increase for the average, excuse me, for the average American. $2,500 tax, tax, all these cutting taxes for the super wealthy. Yeah. Just outraged. Yes, sir. My last question for you. What do you say to the people who plan on sitting this election out? Same thing that was said to me when I was a young kid getting out of school during the civil rights movement. If you don't do something about it, you're to blame. You're responsible. And we didn't. We, my generation, we got up and we got involved. I, that's how I got involved in politics. The first, I never planned on running. I love reading these biographies about how I knew I was going to be president. All I wanted to do was make sure that my state, which has the eighth largest black population as a percentage of population, that people had a fair chance, that they could sit at lunch counters, that they, all those things. You, How would that have happened if we didn't have people showing up and voting? Yeah, This guy has tried to block the vote, tried to block our ability to vote. He's made it harder for people to vote. He did everything from, and he still hasn't admitted that he lost the 2020 election, mm -hmm. even though he went to a zillion court cases all the way to the Supreme Court. He acts like he's for civil rights and he headed the 1994 crime bill that essentially allowed minorities to be put in prison and used as slave labor for the most minority issues, the most minor details. He was the one that spearheaded that along with the term super predator he and Hillary put into place. I think this is absolutely hysterical. And he's the one that blocked voting and he didn't want to accept the election. What did Hillary do? What did Hillary do? What about Al Gore? Al Gore challenged it back in the day. We don't say anything about them, but Trump, when there were some obvious issues going on, and look guys, I actually think a lot of times these elections are all fixed. So I wouldn't put it past any of them, but I just think it's funny he calls out Trump, but not Hillary for that. He said there's no basis for what he's doing. And now he's saying, if he loses in 2024, there'll be a bloodbath. Can you imagine the president saying that? A bloodbath? Can I mean, imagine? Just, no, I, 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 I really mean it. And so the Supreme Court just issued a decision that threatens America principle that there's no kings in America, that no one is above the law. He gave Trump complete power to use his office to exact revenge, organize a coup, rule as a dictator because they give him, if he's doing it in his capacity as an office, based on how this gets interpreted. And what do we call what's happened with BLM? BLM doing riots everywhere, trying to overthrow our government. What do we call that? That's not a coup, apparently. I, the, the, just the levels of hypocrisy and the lies that keep coming out are amazing. It is that he has immunity. My mm -hmm. God. My God, the stakes are really high. They're really high. Democracy, freedom, our economy are all on the line. The other side is working overtime to chip away at our right to cast our your ballot. And we're working harder and hell to protect it. So show up and vote for your own safety sake. Show up and vote for your own safety sake. And you, by the way, you guys, like he talks about black jobs. Mm -hmm. he, he just talks down to people. Mm -hmm. He has no respect. He talks down to people, but Biden tells Charlemagne the God, a black man, if you don't fight for me, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. And you did the 1994 crime bill. You actually put so many minorities in prison, calling them super predators. You were the one that coined it and called them super predators. But Trump talks down to people. Okay. A shameful comment. It's not surprising. This is a guy, as I said, questioned George Floyd's humanity, led the birther movement against President Obama, accused him. The Central Park Five, they should be in jail. By the way, I'm proud to be, as I said, the first vice president, first black woman, mm -hmm. served with a black president. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of them, all the first black woman in the Supreme Court. There's just so much that we can do. Because first of all, I don't always agree with Trump on certain things, like the Central Park Five. Yeah, bad take, bad look. But here's the thing. Let's look more at what's been done. Did Trump coined the phrase super predator? And did he make a bill to basically put minorities in prison for the most minor of issues and use them as slave labor? Trump didn't do that. Now, Trump's not perfect. I don't agree with him with certain things. Their birther movement for Obama? 
is okay with. I don't necessarily see an issue with that. I think we should grill everybody, especially if they may not be from the country. They might be outside the country in some degree. I can understand that. I'm okay with it. But again, I'm saying this to let you guys know I try to be fair and unbalanced. I'm not just oh, pro-Trump on everything. However, did you just hear him? He's a first black woman vice president. And granted, I think he's just starting to name off what he's done, but then he confuses it with his actual self. I, I, I don't know. I, is it a lack of self-awareness or does the lack of self-awareness come from a lack of cognitive ability? I don't know. This concerns me and this somewhat scares me, but it's also hilarious. It's hilarious. And I want to say this, guys, no matter how bad things look or how much we want to get stressed, everything is happening according to plan. The light has to be shown on the dark and the dark is just showing it's ASS right now. And so we are having to see how disgusting this stuff is. But here's another thing to keep in mind. The media who has pushed all of these false narratives about how great Biden is doing and how great he is have now turned. Why have the powers that be turned on Biden? And that's a question I want to know what you guys think. All right. Tell me what you think about Biden, the first black female child vice president of the United States. <laughs> tell me your thoughts, guys. And tell me, did you hear stuff I didn't hear? Sound up in the comments. You like this video, make sure and subscribe. Give this video a like. And yeah, I'm just going to wait for the next blunder. We have an interview coming tonight uh, from ABC. I cannot wait. All right, guys. Until then, I love you. I will see you soon. Hugs. Well, hugs. Hugs are here. Mwah. Kisses are here. And I will see you later.